Hey everyone, Lori and Tim here. We were just talking about what it takes to start a business if let's say like I wanted to decarbonize buildings and I wanna use the power of data to do that, but there is a lot in the weeds to get that started. So what would I do? Right, so you're trying to build a business on data. To start with, you need to figure out how you're gonna get that data out of the buildings you work with. Okay. And one key way today is to do that through wireless sensors. Right. But there's a whole lot of heavy lifting that happens when you start down that process. So first you have to figure out what, what am I trying to sense? Am I trying to monitor power, energy, uh, equipment running, uh, space conditions? Right. And then based on that, you're going to have to choose a wireless communication technology. And that gets you down this whole rabbit hole of uh, Wi-Fi, cellular, Bluetooth, Zigbee, LoRa. And we at Infosense work with Laura, but you're, you're, you're into all of these different options and these different scenarios, and they all have trade-offs. So for example, okay. things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and Zigbee, they can pass more data. Like I can watch a video on Wi-Fi, yep. but I need to be very close to the Wi-Fi router. I sure. lose signal, short range. Yeah. Um, things like cellular uh, are great. We can talk outdoors and send that data long distances, yeah. but you have to charge your battery a lot. Sure. And so, uh, things like LoRa offer this really sweet spot where you can have this long range. So now I can punch through walls and floors or I can send data for miles outdoors. Um, and if that's a really good fit for complex buildings, because then you can, um, uh, you can not have to use so much hardware. But all those choices and all that research and development would have to be done first to figure out what you need. Sure. So ultimately, like LoRa is helping me not have to physically show up places replace batteries, manually log stuff on clipboards. So it's like a really powerful thing that I want, but then what, do I just get that and it immediately works or are there other like That's the thing, there's even more heavy lifting. So okay. now to make all this work, you have to figure out, every sensor has like a, literally like a 50 page manual and all this programming capabilities need to understand it. Okay. Now, once it sends its data, to you have to get a gateway. Yeah. So now you have to choose what kind of gateway you're using and you have to know kind of why. Yeah. And then you literally have to have a network. So you have to have a yeah. network running, a LoRa network. And that's in, that involves third party contracts and programming in different interfaces. And you have to figure all that stuff out and how and why and who to choose. Just to like monitor my HVAC? Yeah, just to get a LoRa sensor you, you going, right. And then okay. once you, even if you did all those things and yeah. now you have this network and you have the sensor, you've chosen LoRa, your data is dead. It just gets to the gateway and it gets to the internet. And then you have to figure out what to do with that. And not only what to do with it, but you actually need kind of a magic decoder ring. So the deal with LoRa is it sends small bits of data, very long distances using really little bits of power. But that means it's not saying, hi, I'm this sensor and this is temperature. It's sending little decrypted, encrypted bits and bytes. And you said it was magic. Like who, who gets it out of the internet? Well, Companies like Infosense have built all this infrastructure in the cloud that decodes and talks back to the sensors and understands what they're communicating based on that 50 page manual and then kind of puts it in a data lake and stores it and enriches that data and, and enables you to tag it and identify it and name it. So eventually the goal is to get to a clean table of data, timestamps, values, the temperature, the energy, whatever it is you're actually monitoring it takes a lot of heavy lifting to get there. And, and then once you got there, then you have to have, like, you're the, the business you're building. Yeah. You need to provide a service. You need to charge for that service, whether that's a dashboard or analytics or reporting. Yeah. And that should be your focus. And, yeah. and, and so that's what Infosense does is you, Lori, are trying to build this business on the service or reporting or analytics. You shouldn't have to do all of this heavy lifting that comes just to get to that point. Why not focus on your service and what your clients and your customers need? I just get to decarbonize buildings right. and tell people how to do it, how to do it efficiently. But you do all the magic talking to the cloud and pull it down. Way more than that. But yes, we do all of that heavy lifting. So you can just have that data, focus on what you do best. And you know we need heroes like you to go out and solve the world's most pressing problems yep. with data. And if you spend all of your time getting that data and figuring all this stuff out, that's not what we want you to focus on. We want you to go and save the planet. All right. Thanks, Jim.